Okay, hello, Pisces. How you doing? This is Keeping It Sassy. Hope everybody's doing well. Hope everybody have a blessed week. Hit that notification button below for me, you guys. To be notified when I post a video, hit the join button to become a member of my channel. Thank you much, you guys. Like, share this video. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Subscribe to my channel. Become a uh, subscriber to my channel, new viewers. Thank you for stopping by. Sit back and enjoy this story read. This is you guys' story read. Okay, we're going to see what's going on in your energy first. And then we're going to start your story read. I'm going to drop two cards. Okay, Pisces. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces energy. What's up? Mm. Some of you guys may be feeling stuck in a situation. Pisces. Oh, okay. Pisces. One more card. Okay. Maybe it's a cycle you guys are feeling stuck in. Let's see. Okay, we have the bear. And we have the book. So you're standing strong in your power. You're very powerful, strong, very headstrong, but you're seeking knowledge or you're needing to seek knowledge in a certain area so you can move forward. You're needing more knowledge in an area. Let me, um, yeah, because you're very strong or you have a strong foundation. Somebody backing you. There's somebody you're dealing with that's very strong that backs you. Okay? So this could be you, the bear. You're strong. Look at you. You're strong already, but you got somebody in your corner that's strong as well. Or they may be even stronger than you, and this person backs you. Or you could see this person being stronger than you. And maybe you're trying to seek some knowledge on how they seem to maintain their strength in certain situations that they're in. So you may be analyzing this person. You may be learning a lot from this person. And vice versa, they may be doing the same with you. So 15, let me look. Yeah. Headstrong, mother, power. Yeah, powerful. Yeah, so you may be seeing someone in that light and you're trying to see, like, how do they do it? You're trying to gain knowledge from this person. Well, they probably get a lot of knowledge from you. Yeah, knowledge learning. Okay, so you're learning a lot from this person. Maybe you learn a lot from each other. This person has your back. Look at them standing there. <clears throat> okay. So I think you're the bear, but they have your back in any situation. If you lean, they're going to hold you up, in other words. But you may be seeing them as more powerful than you, and you're trying to gain knowledge. How do they do it? How do they do everything that they do and still maintain? That's what I'm hearing, okay? All right. I'm hearing it's a mother's instinct. A mother's instinct. Okay. So we're going to draw some cards. We're going to begin your story, Scorpio. And maybe you're told this person has your back no matter what. This person is very powerful, strong. They get, they have your back, okay? Or this is just what, what you're doing. You're, you're watching them, analyzing them, getting knowledge, gaining knowledge from them. They may be gaining it from you. Maybe you both see each other as strong and <laughs> don't realize it. Maybe you don't express it to each other. But you guys have each other's back. Or this person is going to hold you down no matter what. They have your back. 
When you lean, they gonna hold you up. Okay, um, oh, and this is a fire sign. Fire sign with diamond. <clears throat> Let's see. Diamond. I think that's, um, yeah, with earth. Fire, a fire sign with earth in the chart. Or they're your strength, and you may have earth, you can have earth in your chart, and you may be their knowledge. He could be telling you that too. This person you're dealing with, this is your strength. This person's going to have your back regardless. And to them, you're their knowledge. All right. So that's for some of you guys. Let me get these cards to drop. Y'all ready for the read, right? Y'all ready for the read? Let's see what's going on in y'all story. Hey, Pisces. A card drop. I see. And you know what? Fire signs: Sag, Leo, Aries, Earth is Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Pisces. Oh, y'all ready, Pisces? Y'all always ready. Fired up. Y'all fired up. I'm here and fired up. Okay, so here we go, Pisces. You. Knight of Cups. There you go, Pisces. If you're not fired up, somebody in your energy is. Okay, so the Knight of Cups, the Six of Coins, the Queen of Spears, the Ace of Coins, Seven of Coins, Two of Swords, Two of Coins, the Moon, Death, Eight of Cups, Five of Spears, Four of Spears, Two of Spears, and the Page of Swords. Okay, so let me look at the story and see what's going on, Pisces. All right, I'm going to tell you what the story entails off top. Then I'm going to clarify the cards. The story could change, but you can also resonate with the story that it changes to as well, which is a good thing. But it's definitely going to go more in depth. It's going to go deeper into detail, okay? So, do, do, do. Okay, yeah, there's somebody um, who wants to offer you love or who's offering you love. When you see them offering you love, this person is wanting all your time and attention, okay? This is a queen of spears. A uh, uh, Leo. So you may be dealing with a Leo. You may have stability with this person. But they want all your attentions, times, and stability. This person wants to move forward into success with you. This may be somebody who contemplated on which way to go concerning their stability with you. But now they know. Yeah, they may have been at a crossroads at one time. That's because they were blind. They weren't letting their intuition guide them. Okay, so they were juggling with this decision. Now this person has went through a meta metamorphosis. They went through a change. Moon card. They went through a change. They're no longer like that. They transformed. They went through a transformation. That confusion has ended with this person. Okay? They have walked out of a state of being confused. They're no longer confused. They've walked out of that state. Yep. 
being confused. They're no longer confused. They're no longer wanting to fight you off. This person is now wanting marriage. They want to be married to you. Okay. This person, they may have chose you over somebody from a distance. Or maybe they made a decision um, or whether to move you in with them or not. It could have been that. A choice to move on from you or to stay. Maybe that's a choice they made. Or it could be they chose someone else. You over someone else. Uh, some type of decision they made. Maybe this person was deciding to move and they decided to stay. Or leave and decide to stay. Page of Swords. Do some research on this person. Because if it was somebody else they chose you over, you want to know that it's completely over. So you may have some Gemini in your chart. You need to do some instigating, some instigating, some research. Just to be sure. You know, this person is not tied down. Before you move forward with this person. And you may hear from this person in a message. They may tell you what they want. That they want, want to move forward with you. Okay. Or it could be face-to-face -face conversation. Okay. All right. Or this person watches you closely. It's like they're possessive. It could be that. They watch you very closely. Watch what you do. You know. They may be very protective over you. They just lord. They may be very protective over you. Could be that as well. They'll fight for you, in other words, this person. If somebody says something about you, look, they're ready to fight for you. They, or they're not going to let nobody else have you. They're going to fight for you to the end. Okay, they got your back. They got your back. All right. So, um... Let me clarify these cards and we're going to see how the story goes once I clarify. Again, the story could change, but you can also resonate with the story that it changes to, okay? So we're going to start with the Knight of Cups. That offering of love. Clarify the Knight of Cups in Pisces energy, okay? Oh, yeah. So this person's offering love to you. From a situation where they thought was dead. It was dead. They didn't see no coming back. Okay, judgment. They didn't see no coming back. Now they want to offer you love. Okay? They want to offer you... Or you thought it was no coming back. You could have thought this. But this person is wanting your time, attention, the stability. You know, they want you guys to live together. Clarify the six of coins. Clarify the six of coins. Yeah, there wasn't a victory with you. They may be willing to take it to the courthouse. Wedding bells. Y'all last reading, I think, was wedding bells that I did. Yep. This person's wanting to live with you. They're wanting the stability with you. Queen of Wands. You may see them as very stable as well. Strong. Nurturing. Okay, Queen of Wands. Very sexual, sensual, sassy. <laughs> Clarify the Queen of Spears. Clarify the Queen of Spears and Pisces energy. Okay, Nine of Swords. Oh. This was this was unexpected to you, or this was all of a sudden, you know. This person wanted to move fast, or they didn't expect this. This was just something, just all of a sudden they start feeling this way. A change came up on them all of a sudden. How they feeling about you? This was a quick change. And they're going to express this to you strongly. How they want to move forward in a success with you. Somebody has Gemini. Or this could be you. You could be wanting to do this. 
You could be wanting to move fast. Clarify the Ace of Coins. Clarify the Ace of Coins and Pisces Energy. Yeah, Ace of Swords. Yep, this person is wanting to move forward into success. They want a new beginning with you. They see you as themselves being successful with you. They see you two being successful together. All right. As where before in the past, they were contemplating, you know, they were hesitant, you know, because they was trying to get some insight concerning their stability, which way to go concerning their stability, what would suit them better stability wise, which direction to go in stability wise. Clarify the seven of coins. Yeah, you innerly satisfy this person or you innerly satisfy each other. You do innerly satisfy them. They've been holding on to you. This person always held on to you. All right. Even though they was at a crossroads on which way to go with you, they still held on to you. You still innerly satisfied this, this wands, this Leo. <clears throat> or this could have been you at a crossroads if this isn't this um leo you were at a crossroads um with the two of swords Or it could have been them. They could have been trying to make a choice between you and somebody else. They could have some air in their chart. Clarify the two of swords. Clarify the two of swords. Yeah, ten of spears. A burden. So this could be you. You were at a crossword roads between this Leo and this um, air sign. This person may have burdened you. It was something you weren't seeing. You was blind. Two of coins. Juggling. You were juggling a decision. Or this person is juggling stability. This, this air sign. There's an air sign in your energy. They're at a crossroads. That's what's going on. There's an air sign in your energy. This person's at a crossroads in, in, with something. Something's going on. They're, they're burdened. This person is carrying some burdens. Maybe some guilt. They need to release some burdens. This um air sign. Clarify. Let's see. There's an air sign in your energy that's carrying some burdens. There is maybe they're burdening you. Maybe this person is a burden in your life, and you're trying to release that burden. And you have to juggle stability, maybe because of this person, or you share stability with this person. Maybe you you, you could have a child. Let's see. Let's see what it is. Clarify the ten of spears. Clarify this ten of spears concerning this um Pisces energy. Seven spirits. Yeah, you fighting this person off. Because they burden you. This person burdens you. Ten of swords. This person may have backstabbed and betrayed you. All right. Four coins. Okay. Stability. Concerning some stability. Maybe um they're holding on to stability. Maybe you guys juggle stability together or juggle something together. And they're being stingy with it. Whatever it is, they're holding on to some type of stability. You guys have to juggle some type of stability together. Clarify the two of coins. Clarify the two of coins and Pisces energy. Clarify the two of coins. Let's see. Ten, ten, ten of coins. Yeah, stability, comfort, and security. So there's some type of stability, comfort, and security you guys share with each other. Maybe a family, you have a family with this person, a child, the ten of coins you have with this person, a child, and they're stingy with the child. 
Maybe they hold the child from you. The four coins. That's somebody stingy with something. Holding on from something. Keeping you from something. Budgeting. The moon card. Hmm. There's a secret. This person is hiding a secret from you. Maybe that this person told you they changed or something. Clear, let's see. Clarify the moon card. Or this person may hold on to you because they want stability, um, comfort, security, and stability with you. But I don't think that's what it is. They betrayed you with something. You know, they're holding something from you. Something that y'all struggle together. Stability, comfort, and security together. Something. Okay. Could be a child. That's the family card. Ten of coins. Clarify the moon card. Let me do that again. Clarify this moon card. Holy Spirit. Clarify the moon card. I got some type of responsibilities together. Five of Swords. It's a secret. This person misses you. They're at a loss without you and they hide it. So if you guys go through drama, they be acting out with you. That's why. Because they miss you. This person misses you. This air sign. They, they feel like a loss without you. Okay, because you may have ended things with this person. They could have Scorpio in their chart. Oh, you may be with a Scorpio. They may want you to end things with a Scorpio or you ended things with them. Maybe you moved on with a Scorpio, but they, um, or they want you to end things with a Scorpio that you've moved on with. Okay, this Queen of Wands may have Scorpio in their chart. Clarify this card. Clarify this card. Yeah, the Empress. They want to be your Empress. This person wants to be your Empress. But you found your Empress. You you may have any things with them for Scorpio who you see as an Empress, who you want to be your Empress. You see yourself having a family with this person. Or you might um have a family with this person you may have a child with this person this person may be pregnant this empress this could be somebody that's pregnant you see them as abundant as well you, you know you just love everything about this person okay somebody could have libra in their chart this um queen of wands could have libra scorpio in their chart yeah you walked away you walked away from this person for this um Queen of Wands, Libra person, this Empress, somebody that you can see yourself building a family with. Clarify the Eight of Cups. Clarify the Eight of Cups and Pisces energy. Yeah, you walked away from this air sign for a new beginning of growth with this person you can see yourself building a family with. Okay, yeah. Five of Spears. And you and this, you may have been confused. Somebody's confused. Or this person fought you a lot because you moved on. They argued with you and fought with you on this situation that you moving on. This air sign. Whew. It started a lot of confusion. Maybe they started a lot of confusion with you because you moved on. They were angry. This person was angry with you. Clarify the five of spears. Clarify the five of spears and Pisces energy. Clarify the five of spears and Pisces energy. Clarify the five of spears and Pisces energy. The ten of cups. Yeah, because they wanted the Ten of Cups with you. They're angry. 
this person's very angry was very angry with you because you moved on to a new beginning of growth because they wanted this ten of cups and you gave their ten of cups to somebody else to this empress to this queen of wands and you started a family with this person and they're very angry with you or going they, they wanted marriage with you they wanted to marry you if i'm here they feel like that you were stolen from them clarify the four spears clarify the four spears yeah they hold a lot of passion for you but you moved on to a passionate new beginning it's somebody you wanted to marry okay to the spears you chose somebody else over this air sign you chose this wand you chose this fire sign this queen of wands that leo over this air sign yep three of cups but they want to reunite with you this air sign wants to reunite with you okay but you enjoy this um leo you have fun with this leo you guys party together celebrate together you make travel with this leo you know you started a family with this person you want to do this is where you want to be clarify the three of cups i'm gonna throw one more card on that clarify the three of cups I find a three of cups and Pisces energy. Yeah, this is yeah, this is who you want to build a partnership or stability with. You chose already. You know what you want. This is where you want to be. But this person, this air sign, they stalk you. They stalk you. They may ride by you at your house. They may um follow you. You don't know they following you. This person is truly stalking you. Okay. They may watch you on social media, keep an eye on what's going on between you and this Leo. Clarify the page of swords. Clarify the page of swords and Pisces energy. Clarify the page of swords and Pisces energy. Yeah, nine of spirits. You have to fend this person off. This is how bad they stalk you. They might come to your doorstep, but you, you're going to have to fend this person off. Nine of Spears. Or this is what you do. You fend this person off. You fight them off. Clarify the Nine of Spears. Oh, that's like, yep. King of Cups. Because they're constantly offering you love. Emotions. This person's constantly offering you some type of emotions. They're trying to get you back. They may have water in their chart as well. Clarify the King of Cups. Clarify this King of Cups and Pisces energy. Yeah, Three of Swords. This person is heartbroken because you won't you send them off. You won't take them back. Three of Swords. They, they don't want to be separated from you, Pisces. They're very heartbroken. Yep. All right. Or this is somebody you had a third party situation with and they coming back for you this you, you could have been in a third party with this person okay all right so or they're just heartbroken if you weren't in no third party they're just heartbroken they're at a loss with you okay but i don't see no third party well the three of coins so it could have been it's right next to it Oh, or they're willing. They don't care. They want you. They they they're willing to have a third party situation with you. It could be that they don't care. They 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 don't care. They offer you emotions. They don't care about being in no third party situation with you. That's how bad this person wants you. That's what I'm hearing right there. So you weren't in no third party with this person. This is what they want. They can't have you. So they will take whatever. If it costs them being in a third party. They'll still be with you. They don't care. All right. All right, Pisces. That's the end of your reading. I hope I can help you guys, give you guys some insight on some things um, that you need to see or hear. Um, hit the notification button below. Like, share this video. 
you guys thank you and um hit that subscribe button and comment below intermingle with me you guys all right be good you guys continue to be blessed love you guys good night